Yes, Miami Newsroom, we continue following breaking news out of Coconut Grove. As we reported earlier, federal marshals showed up at the home of Miami City Commissioner Joe Carroyo to place notices that his house is in the process of being seized to satisfy a judgment against him in a civil lawsuit. As we've been reporting, for months now, Carroyo was sued by two Little Havana business owners charging selective enforcement, threats, and harassment by the city commissioner. That case went to court, and Carroyo was ordered to pay $63 million. So today, the federal marshal showed up at his home in Coconut Grove and placed those notices right on the door. One of those notices is to advise him that the house could be seized by federal authorities. Right now, he's talking to uh, reporters there in Spanish. Let's, uh, let me listen in and see if I can translate a little bit. Es lo que se llama el homestead que está protegido okay. y que no se lo pueden quitar. Okay. What he's uno. saying is that the federal authorities knew that this house was what's considered a homestead. In other words, that is his homestead. He gets a homestead exemption, uh, a break on the taxes, and that's where he lives with his wife. So he is saying, and we heard this earlier from his attorney, Mark Sarnoff, that because this is marital property, because the two of them live there, they cannot punish his wife because of this judgment against Joe Carroyo. Therefore, the house cannot be touched. Uh, now, we did a search on the Miami-Dade County uh, Property Appraiser's website, and the house comes back listed to Joseph X. Carroyo. It does not name his wife. Now, attorney Mark Sarnoff said that if you look at the, uh, the mortgage, that you will find both their names on that mortgage. But again, that we do not know when that mortgage was financed or refinanced and, and whether or not that is the legal standard for whether or not they can confiscate uh, a home in order to satisfy a judgment. This is all stuff for the attorneys uh, to work out. But again, uh, Joe Carroyo, uh, very upset right now because of uh, those marshals showed up at his home. Uh, let's listen in a little bit more. Eso, es que entonces están pudiendo eh, llevar lo que está pasando aquí ahora. Eh, porque ellos simplemente le han dicho a la corte que este no es mi homestead. Pero ahí no ha habido nada de ningún juicio para ver la evidencia ni nada, porque la evidencia va a estar todo a mi lado. Okay, well, Commissioner Curry, right what you're stating is very valid. We would like you to say it in English. We're right now live CBS News streaming, and definitely what you just stated is valid. We'd like to uh, have you say it in English, please. Well, look, um, all of you were contacted by the plaintiffs uh, that have gone all over town for months and months bragging how they're going to destroy me. But in essence, who they really want to destroy are the honest employees of the city of Miami, the residents of my district and other parts of Miami that have complained against them, uh, other merchants that have complained against them. They have sued and sued and sued, and it seems every month is a new lawsuit uh, from them, uh, where today, this morning, and I'm surprised none of you were there, uh, in the last lawsuit against the city, and over 30 employees of the city, personal lawsuits. Uh, it didn't go too well for them. Uh, they were asking for an injunction so they could do whatever they want to in Miami, and the city cannot stop them. In other words, the only people in Miami that could violate the law, that could do what they want, is them, and they wanted an injunction from the court. They didn't get it today, and they didn't like what the judge uh, stated. Uh, a different judge than in my case. And you were explaining and right now the whole thing about the process of the house, look, that they're trying to seize your house, but they're actually overlooking something else? Well, the, the, the bottom line is, they called all of you today to have this charade, the circus, uh, and they're using that. In fact, in the statements they made, at the bottom, they in fact admitted it. They're using it to intimidate uh, other city employees to not to ever do anything to them because 
look what we're doing to Corolla, we're going to do that to you and worse. If we could do that to him, imagine what we could do to you. And that's what they're saying. But bottom line is that in America, even for Joe Corolla, there is due process. Um, that's what our courts uh, say. That's what our Constitution says. I'm not getting due process. Since this trial was over, uh, by federal laws and procedures, we have to file certain motions before I could appeal. My motions have been sitting there and sitting there and sitting there, and I haven't been given due process. So then, in the meantime, I'm being put in harm's way where they're claiming that this is not my homestead, even though it's contrary to what they've stated uh, in the past. For instance, in March of 2022, when they asked the courts to put an injunction so I could not participate in the redistricting voting, they said that if the courts wouldn't do it and put the injunction, if my house was redistricted into my district, uh, then I would be protected by Homestead, and they couldn't touch my property. <laughs> what you're seeing here is quite different now than what they pleaded to the courts in March of 2022. When we had the court uh, hearing, they asked me in plain court, you have moved to this house, haven't you? And I said, absolutely. The Coconut Grove house? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I told them yes. So they knew that I was there. And look, any one of you could go to Florida law, the Constitution, the Florida Constitution, and it clearly states that your homestead where you lived, and I, I don't think anyone could doubt that I was living here uh, before the final ruling came. Uh, and it was always my intention to move back here. Um, you know, my first term was four years. I didn't even know if I would get elected. And then I didn't know if I was going to run for a second term. And that's four years. I'm term limited out. So this house was never rented. Uh, it was my intention to always come back here. Therefore, it was still my homestead. But beyond that, uh, no one can doubt that I was living here before any rulings, any judgments came. Therefore, by Florida law, it is totally protected. And this is the Florida Constitution. But what they're doing is, um, they're just telling the courts, take everything from him, throw him in the streets, throw his wife in the street. Because the magistrate is not giving me due process by giving me a hearing, and it's letting this go forward. This would not stand in an appellate court if we could go there. No way would it stand. In fact, they know well that the whole trial, it's either going to be completely thrown out or they're going to send it back for a retrial, one or the other. One of the things that your attorney said was that this is marital uh, property, which yes. means it belongs to you and your wife. They allege that you made changes to the property in the month of May, knowing that the whole process was going on. What do you respond to that? Look, by Florida law in any state of America, and those of you uh, that have had to have gone through a divorce, I think know it better than uh, most. Uh, tell your spouse that uh, when you divorce, they have no right to any part of the homestead. Of course you do. And all that I did was make a process uh, more clear and easier uh, for my wife, especially if something would happen to me. Uh, but I'm, I'm not even talking about that right now. I'm talking about I was protected before that by the Florida Constitution. So whether I did that or not, it didn't matter. Florida Constitution protected me. But because I am not given, I am not being given due process, um, this is why I'm here. You know, I'm being held in limbo like nobody else is. 
So last but not least, Joe Carollo is staying in his house regardless of these documents that were placed at the door at the entrance of your house. Well, you tell me, where am I going to go? I'm certainly not going to go to the East Hotel because I don't have the money to pay for that uh, or any other hotel. Uh, nor am I going to accept monies uh, from anybody to pay for my stays there. I have been an honest public servant. I've been living uh, off of what I make, doing everything that I can to give my residents the best. That's why I kept getting elected and re-elected. And they fail on the recall against me. Pero ven acá. Es desocupar la casa por qué? Okay, you have been hearing from Miami uh, Commissioner uh, Joe Carroyo, very frustrated there. His argument right now a little different from what his attorney Mark Sarnoff said earlier. Mark Sarnoff was making the argument that this is a marital property, communal property, and Joe Carroyo saying that it doesn't matter, matter whether or not it's marital property, saying it is marital property, but even if it's not, because it's his homesteaded property, uh, the marshals have no right to seize that property in order to satisfy a debt that he has with the court. Uh, we are going to stay on top of the story. You can be sure of that. Uh, I will see you on CBS News Miami at 5 o'clock on, on CBS News Miami. But now on our streaming service, which you're watching right now, want to take you to our quick cast with Naja Sherman.